So we have got chilly temperatures in place for this week. A nice dry stretch of weather through early Friday before we start to see another chance for rain or snow developing uh, as early as Friday afternoon. The warmer it gets, the better chance we have of getting through the beginning of this and at least through the evening commute as seeing this as just rain before we start to see our changeover. Talking about the triad mostly. We do have some clouds and uh, kind of a system that's developing uh, near Florida. This will eventually help spawn a coastal low that will move up the Atlantic seaboard while a steady push of frigid air starts to move in south across the Canadian border with more backing that up in interior Canada. Our temperatures up that way have warmed some. We were well below zero this time yesterday in Winnipeg. Thunder Bay at six degrees below zero while here locally we're inching into the 30s. Now it is considerably cooler. We are well into the 50s at 55 degrees at this time yesterday. So temperatures at this pace are about 15 to 20 degrees below where we were 24 hours ago. Still below freezing in many of our mountain locations too. Triad forecast today. Pretty chilly though under mostly sunny skies. We'll have clear conditions through this evening and our temperatures will drop back down into the 20s uh, later tonight under those crystal clear skies with this dry air in place. High should be in the lower 40s but closer to 40 in the foothills today. A few scattered clouds remain from the morning but should continue to thin out this afternoon. If we're lucky we'll get above freezing in the mountains but some areas will not and then we're down into the teens later on tonight. So a chilly forecast for the foreseeable future. Some clouds here and there too. They do clear out this evening. Nice evening for stargazing. If you can get through the chilly temperatures that are in place, start to bring in a few more afternoon clouds tomorrow, much more so on Friday. Now for Friday, we actually start out with temperatures upper 20s and lower 30s and we're pretty dry even through lunchtime. Um, on Friday. We'll start to bring in some rain and snow uh, east of the mountains, likely just snow or at least a brief rain snow mix in the mountains. So we can see some higher totals up that way. It's going to take a while for temperatures to come down. It will likely be after dark before that happens. We'll see a transition to snow first uh, into the foothills and then across the triad. And I think the timing is going to be very similar to the last system we had. Most of this coming down Friday night, exiting by early Saturday morning, and this could put down some some lighter amounts again. Uh, looking at uh, through 11 o'clock Friday and our higher resolution model, you can see some decent totals farther west. For the triad, most of this falls after dark when most folks are in bed for the night. Will we see two inches? It's hard to say at this point, but I think an inch is a reasonable expectation. Other models showing similar totals, about one to two inches, uh, even across some of our western counties too. So the fact that they're in decent agreement this far out is actually a good sign. But again, I think this is going to have a lot of similarities to the last storm system. And unfortunately, it remains cold into the weekend. So this could uh, refreeze and could have a couple of issues with that both Saturday and Sunday morning before temperatures start warming up again.